Hello, I am Wallace, the Polish toy guy, and today I'm going to review yet again a LEGO set that's older than me. This is LEGO Town 6224 Delivery Van. And at this point we already know the theme of this set, its number, we can see the number of minifigures. So the remaining bullet points to mention is the number of pieces, 34 total, and the release date, which is 1983. So, 35 years old set. And before we go for the main dish, let's take a look at the dish's driver. And that's going to be a quick look, because let's face it, this guy is fairly plain except maybe for his nice black hat, but otherwise a very, very stock figure. The typical Lego smile, blue torso, black pants, standard Lego minifigure posability. So it's kind of boring on its own. I think it more likely serves as a decoration for the vehicle, which is the main thing we should look at when buying this set. And with that taken care of, we can point our interest to the delivery van, which I like. It's simple, yet with 8 centimeters of length, it still has a few things to offer. The main one being, like I said, the nostalgic feel. You can pretty much just look at it and already tell this is not the same thing that we have from LEGO in modern era. You just feel the age of this just by looking at it, and it's great. It's a block if you look from the front, nothing protruding through the sides. Pretty much a rectangular in a few colors on wheels. And these wheels are also old school. I don't think we see the likes of them nowadays, but they are nice. Plastic connected through a metal bar below the piece. And as a result, the delivery van rolls on the floor like a champ. I also like this color scheme, very bright but very nice to look at. We have this printed grill, I like these old fashioned translucent pieces for the headlights and tail lights, red and now. We also have these stickers which you have to apply on your own, judging by the instruction sheet. And we have opening doors, through which you can see what is supposed to be the driver's cabin which is identified by this moving wheel piece. That's the only thing that will tell you that this is supposed to be the driver's place. And yes, we have this flap through which we can load our delivery to the van. And what is supposed to be delivered? We will probably never know. Once you assemble this, you realize there is nothing to put inside within the set. So you could pretty much put anything you want in there and still be correct on what's supposed to be delivered. If there was anything that was really supposed to be delivered in this, when this was designed, we will never know this secret. And on the subject of moving flat surfaces, we also have the front of the roof, which you can raise to make inserting the driver inside the car much, much easier. Of course, you could try to do it using the door, as logic would dictate, but I think it's possible, but not very comfortable. So, through the roof it is. And once he's inside, the whole van definitely gains a bit of visual appeal. So, yes, I suppose the main purpose in life of this guy was to sit inside and make the car look prettier. And because I was able to get this set with the instruction sheet intact, let's take a look at it as well. And... If, like me, you like to get your old LEGO sets from places like flea markets, garage sales, I advise you to aim for sets that do have their manuals, because it's a much easier and faster way to check if your set is complete on the spot, so you don't get any bad surprises. For example, getting back home and saying that your set is missing a few pieces, and that happened to me more than once. Ah, the charms of second-hand market. Anyway, the sheet itself is your typical sheet from that time. Everything is drawn. It shows you how to assemble pieces step by step, what order, what direction to put them in. It's very simple, but very legible. It's very hard to make any mistake with a set of this size. And I like that. And I also 
can see that it includes pictures of other creations we can make with these parts. And I think with this set I would be able to build them just by looking at this picture. But again, I know these are ideas and not the main set, but I would still appreciate getting at least some basic instructions for how to build these. And with that said, we can proceed with the comparisons. So here we have the recently reviewed construction truck, as well as small car from the modern city era and the old city era sports coupe. And I suppose there was already a Transformers comparison with Masterpiece Ironhide into introduction, so now let's go to something non-Transformers but also quite red. Here we have a replica of the classic Polish car Polones Caro Plus and the red version of Modari's T1 buildable car. So to sum it all up, I like this set. It's simple, and while it does have some play features, I think it will not be mind-blowing for kids. Still, I did not buy this to play with it, but to keep it on my shelf, look at it and remember the good old times that I can't even remember due to my age. Still, it's a very nice set that shows the design mind of people from the past, and just for this very fact, I'm happy that I acquired this set. And that's all for this video review. I will be back with the next one soon. And until then, stay well. Polish Toy Guy, signing out.